Well, it happens often people going in for surgery and coming out with something left inside of them that simply should not be there. Most of the time it's sponges, which can lead to some very serious complications. Dr. Bruce Hensel has more. Bodybuilder Doreen Hicks started feeling a sharp pain in her right breast, but she did not know why. I had to wait for other tests to be done and um, in the meantime started getting inflamed and big. Judge Nelson Bailey had intense abdominal pain after intestinal surgery. What I had gone in to get corrected seemed to be worse. The problem in both cases, a surgical sponge left behind in their bodies. Because the sponge was left there and it was rotting, it created perforations in my intestines. Gauze or a surgical sponge left behind in Judge Bailey during his first surgery measured a foot long and a foot wide. How does this happen? Sponges are white to begin with, but when we put them inside a patient, they absorb blood and body fluids, and so they change color and become the color of the tissue that surrounds them. Some surgeries may take hundreds of sponges, leaving plenty of room for human error. Now there's a new technology to make sure that no sponge is left behind. It's called the smart sponge system. Here's how it works. Each sponge has a small radio frequency tag with a unique code attached to it. Each is scanned as it is used. As the surgery is being finished, all those sponges are removed and put in a receptacle which automatically counts them. At the end of the surgery, the machine will issue an alert if a sponge is still missing. The nurses can then wave a wand over the body. That picks up the radio frequency tag on the sponge. This quick tool reduces the time a patient is under anesthesia, and it prevents many mistakes. This may save lives. At the least, it gives patients and doctors peace of mind.